The History of the Borg Queen's Vessel The Borg Queen's Vessel was an octagon-shaped starship that was used by the Borg Collective. In Federation encounters with this starship design, it was utilized by the Borg to transport the Borg Queen. The ship was heavily armed, well protected, and like all other Borg ships, capable of transwarp speeds. The vessel was present when species 10,026 was assimilated in 2375. Seven of Nine and the Borg Queen were aboard while this assimilation took place. Later, the vessel pursued the Delta Flyer when it escaped from the Una Complex after rescuing Seven. The vessel was destroyed when the USS Voyager collapsed a transwarp conduit it was traveling in. Background Information No design was formally given to the Starship design. It remains unknown whether any other ships of this type exist. The script of Dark Frontier describes this vessel merely as massive and a complex, distinctive geometric shape we've never seen before. Because senior illustrator Rick Steinbeck, who usually designs the ships in Star Trek Voyager, was busy with other aspects of the production, for the double-length episode Dark Frontier, the challenge of designing the Borg Queen's vessel fell to Dan Curry. To do so, he worked closely with Brandon Mc Dougal, who designed and made the 3D model at Effects House Foundation Imaging. The Borg Queen's vessel followed the design ethos of previously established Borg craft while also being deliberately unique looking for the Borg Queen ship. We decided to make it distinctively and instantly recognizable as different than the rest of the Borg fleet, explained Curry. Obviously, the Borg aesthetics dictated that it should have some sort of geometric form. It was just a matter of coming up with the appropriate geometric form, and I think the diamond shape was a group effort. Curry and McDougall also wanted to make a sense of liveliness to the craft. This was inspired by the opportunity to feature moving starship parts in Voyager which had only recently become doable thanks to the series having changed from depicting ships with CGI rather than practical studio models. To fulfill their goal in making the Borg Queen's ship look dynamic, Curry and McDougal decided that the other structures could spin around the center when the ship was in motion. Once the basic form of the vessel was settled on, McDougal was given the task of filling in the finer details, including the placement of the shipboard weapon systems. The lack of need for cannon-like structures and complex details of the ship allowed great flexibility, explained Curry, and we could make weapons emanate from wherever we wanted. Apocrypha. According to the video game Star Trek Armada and many other games, this ship class is referred to as the Borg Diamond due to its shape and the fact that it follows the naming conventions used in describing the cube and the sphere. Although if the naming convention is properly adhered to, Borg Octahedron is the most applicable designation. In Star Trek Online, the Borg Queen commands a vessel of this class, termed the Borg Queen's Octahedron. Thank you for watching the history of the Borg Queen's vessel. New episodes every Saturday.